Hello world. Today Tess will ask me some difficult questions. Okay, Tess really loves raw emotion and raw reaction and I'm uh, the opposite. I tend to think very closely on what I say and what I put out. So we have a challenge where she comes up with difficult questions and I've got to try to answer them as genuinely as possible without first measuring my response. I hope you enjoy it. What is the kindest thing you have ever done for someone? You know, it's really bad. I can't think of anything. Oh my goodness. I don't know because um, kindness is a hard thing to say, isn't it? I really don't know. <laughs> That's generally my answer, I don't know. I, I can't, there's not like a thing that um, steps out. Or You've done doesn't. kind things. Yes, but not like the kindest. I've done kind things and I think a lot of different people would have different answers based on what it is and what their needs are, but... Well, name one. Just one. A I kind think. thing. Um, when my parents um, got the new place estate, I bought them a cupboard. Um, I've loaned people money before, knowing I'd never get paid back and not expecting it because of it. Um, I've done many things for my wife, be making her one or multiple cups of tea um, to taking over tasks to whatever it is. The one that I found the hardest was starting to let people use my car. Yeah. What is the kindest thing you have ever done for yourself? I would always have said when I stopped working five days and went to four. I did do that for me, mostly. Um, but I don't know if that's applicable based on my life now. <laughs> but at the time it was a big thing. What is something about you that you rather not share with other people? <laughs> Put it on camera. You can always cut it out. I'll cut it out probably. <laughs> what makes you feel accomplished? Wow. Accomplished. I've never set out to feel accomplished, so I've never really taken note. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Like I said, I've never... It's never been a goal of mine to be accomplished, so I've never analysed it. You really want an answer? I don't know. Your YouTube channel? Science-based Christianity? Which are important to me, but they're not meant to give me accomplishment. Because they're not meant for me. In essence. Doing things for my wife that she really appreciates and that she shows the appreciation that I feel accomplished. What is something that others say about you that is positive? That I'm very stable. And in recent years a lot of people have been saying I'm very brave. which. Is nice. 
Have you worked on something you are good at lately? That I'm good at? Um, well, yes, I've been spending a lot of time trying to brush up on my apologetics, which I've always thought I'm good at, but I don't know if I'm really good at it. Um, I just always felt it was a thing of mine, so, yeah. What is your favorite song that motivates you? Oh my goodness, oh, that... I have a few, but I will put it down to this, my favorite band that motivates me, Skillet. They've got a lot of good songs. The one that helped me the most when I was sick was uh, Feel Invincible. Um, lately, um, Undefeated is one that sits in my head a lot. And I do like This Is The Kingdom, that's also a nice one. What makes you happy? Being at home, doing something with my wife and all my cats. Or doing nothing with my wife and my cats. What does it mean for you to be in Christ? It's um, having a relationship. And I don't mean airy fairy stuff, I mean seriously that you can go to Christ to tell him what's on your mind, but at the same time being willing to listen to whatever the answer is, or um, also listening to what God says as to what he wants you to do. That's what it is to be in Christ. You have that relationship. How do you experience being a new creation? Apart from the stem cells? <laughs> While my blood is literally a new creation, um, it's being a different person to what I was before. Um, well, I do still struggle with things, it's only human. But there are um, things that I, that I know of myself as a teenager that I'm amazed with um, that don't seem to be such an issue ever since I got saved. And a good example is I used to have a very um, quick temper. But one of the things people have said to me uh, is they do admire my patience, which is a strange one because I know what it was like as a youngster. I could get angry very quickly. So, you know, that's what it is to be a new creation, is different, you react different, you are different to what you were. What is something that happened, it can be very small, but something that happened in the last 24 hours that you are grateful for? The first thing that jumps to mind is that the buster sauce from last night came out so incredibly well, which I was wondering if it would. Okay. Well, that was uh, this edition of questions. I thank you for watching. Keep well and God bless.